Okay, we're back here live at Strata Conference. Uh, O'Reilly Media's uh, Strata Conference is exclusive coverage, siliconangle.com and wikibon.org. I'm John Furrier, the founder of siliconangle.com. I'm joined with um, John Kreis, a VP of marketing at Hortonworks, and Hurain Oberoi, director of product marketing, server, and tools at Microsoft. Guys, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you. Thanks, John. John, we have uh, been covering, obviously, this from the beginning, um, this segment from the original Hadoop world all the way down through um, your last Hadoop Summit, now our fourth strata. Mm -hmm. Quite an evolution. Yes. Um, it's gone, really, innovation has just accelerated now. We're seeing more acceleration um, around the big players. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of, matu not maturization, but like really accelerated competitiveness. So, so um, mainly fueled by the growth. Right, so I want you to, we're going to talk here about the Hadoop ecosystem and partnership, the business models and partnerships. So, mm -hmm. so the question is, is that uh, on the table is, what is the, the partnership model for Hadoop going forward right now? Because the demand is so strong for uh, enterprise grade products, flexibility. Um, we were talking about data as code earlier. Mm -hmm. They want pre-existing performance of existing resources, mm -hmm. but be positioned for the future for business value. Mm -hmm. Seems to be the theme. Yeah. So you guys are at the kind of growing up that, that market from the bottom up, the top down demand strong, um, it meets in the middle where all the action is. Can you comment on your strategy and what you guys are doing and, and as it relates to say Microsoft, which has a huge install base of customers looking for a product? Sure, sure, and I think um, you know, just with the new entrants that have come to market, John, it's pretty clear that you know, Hadoop has more than arrived. It's really become the de facto platform um, and that's, that's really generally recognized. Um, and, and what our strategy overall is to make that as broadly available as possible out in the market. And, and that really speaks to the reason that we are partnered very closely with Microsoft in terms of helping to make this technology as broadly available to the market, to the users who are out there um, in the tools that they use today, right? For example, the, the Microsoft tools, which um, you can't argue is the most broadly deployed set of tools for accessing data um, in the world. And so this partnership with them um, is something that is a key part of our strategy going forward. Well, you guys announced the partnership with Microsoft, but can you talk about the news that you've announced here on yeah. the Windows piece? Because that's, that's, right. that's out there, it's in the wild. Can you just do a drill down quickly on that and then sure, we'll sure. talk about so, it? Sure, sure. So on Monday, we announced the Hortonworks data platform for Windows, um, a strong collaboration with Microsoft to bring Hadoop, um, the, the result of um, uh, about a year and a half partnership to actually port Hadoop to Windows so that you can run Hadoop natively on the Windows Server platform. Uh, we think that really opens up a whole new ecosystem, broad new set of developers who you know, have already established and are familiar with Microsoft tools and development systems and now really have brought that to. And Hortonworks Data Platform is the only data platform that's available on both Linux and Windows now, uh, which is a great partnership. And then on Windows, it, it provides a whole new level of portability. Is that open so 100 percent op still open source? Yes, absolutely. So it's 100 percent open source, consistent with our strategy all along of making the entire platform no proprietary zero, zero proprietary okay. Okay. code. Just want to get that uh, out there in the Hortonworks Data Platform, both on Linux and also on Windows. So Microsoft, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's yeah. open source. I mean, you guys have just been looked at as. Microsoft Windows is yes. Windows, and yep. you know. Yeah, uh, I mean, talk about that. Uh, that yeah, and of course, I, you know, I'd say this is not the first time we've done this. And if I think back to you know, 18 months ago when we first announced the the partnership with Hortonworks, um, we we said, look, we're going to take a bet on the Hadoop platform. And the reason we want to take a bet on the Hadoop platform is, as we think about the problem we're all trying to solve, is how do you enable in outcomes based on insights? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. that requires the whole stack, which means there's the BI tools that sit on the top. There's the, the sort of how do you get data from external sources that sit in the middle, and then how do you manage your data at the bottom? And then think about how do you manage your data, that's where Hadoop comes in. And instead of getting into, you know, how do we think about which Hadoop distro, we said let's work with Hortonworks. These are the guys that are driving the direction of Hadoop. They have the most number of committers. Well, well talk about why that's the case, because I mean, you, I mean the big joke and when we did in the cube for now three years is that Silicon Angle's going to introduce their own distribution of Hadoop. <laughs> uh, just to kind of make tongue in cheek at the fact that anyone can do it. Yes. I can download everything and yeah. say it's a distribution. Yeah. But this, this that's not all that's involved. I mean, this, you guys have done a, probably an analysis of yep. what it would take to do seriously a Hadoop, and we're going to have Intel on later again to readdress the same issues, yes. which is, you know, hey, this is not easy. Yep. You got to have committers, there's now community. So can you talk yeah, about exactly. that decision? Yeah, so if you think about what it really takes to you know, drive uh, uh, innovation into the Hadoop platform, it takes committers, and it takes people who've been doing this with the Apache community. And so that's the reason why we partnered with Hortonworks. So if you think about the engineering partnership we have, we've got you know, engineers here in the valley that are helping say, how do we port Hadoop to Windows? And then the Hortonworks team is looking at that and saying, how do we commit that back 
back into the Apache uh, Hadoop project in the most effective way. And so this is something we recognize. All under the Apache ago. license. Uh, yes, what's committed back in is under the Apache license, yes. So what does that do, John, at getting the Windows platform? Obviously, mm -hmm. Linux is, you know, Linux, everyone knows, everyone's happy about what Linux offers. Yep. But now Windows has always been, a, has a really strong developer. I mean, Microsoft, yep. you know, you, you can't swing a, a dead cat without hitting a Microsoft developer these days. And, and, and they're, massive, to, they're massive, they're <laughs> massive install base of developers. Mm -hmm. But they're not necessarily Linux guys, right? But right. they're, so what does that, how does that bring into the well, Windows platform? I mean, it's, it's obviously a massive community that, that uh, is enabled now. The integration that is going on includes not only the kind of data management tools, SQL Server and, and Excel and other components and analysis tools, but also the development tools uh, that are going on with, uh, with this kind of work that we've been doing with Microsoft. So, to your point, it, there's just a tremendous number of developers. That entire ecosystem is enabled that can now develop native applications for an entire Windows stack. Because massive distribution for you. Massive distribution opportunity, massive just opportunity for market and really for Hadoop in general, right? There's just more developers who can contribute code and will be interested in working on and building applications on top of this platform and contributing back to the platform. So we really feel like it's a massive expansion and opportunity. It's, it's just generally good for Hadoop and we're all about making sure the community is successful in the community-driven process. All right, let's talk about Microsoft, okay, for a second here, because obviously massive um, market, you guys, you know, are Microsoft, huge, mon big money players, we've been using that term, big money player. I mean, you could buy your way in any way you want, you could do what Green Plum's doing, throw a lot of money in, put a big splash in the pool, um, and, and come in and go after the market. But one of the things that EMC just did, though, that's interesting, is they've kind of attacked the community on one end uh, with, the, with the direct aggressive move against Hive and Impala, specifically, which is inherently a move against the entire community, but that we just don't talk about that right now. But on the positive note, they're software-based, not appliance, and they've highlighted the, a demand at the BI side. So there, there's an underserved market out there on the BI side. Can you talk about that marketplace? Because you have not so much the data warehousing, I think everyone realizes that the data is going to be moving, it's going to be changing, and you need to have that a data platform there, and there's all kinds of conversation there, but the BI side is where the action, the rubber hits the road, and yep. they're kind of sitting there looking for tools. You've got Plat4 out there and other p approaches. So what's your view, and what do you guys bring to the market that help that? Yeah, so if you think, and that's a great question, because if you think about the BI side of things, you know, BI on traditional data warehousing is what a lot of organizations have been doing for many years. And that's the business we've been on since 97 when we introduced our first BI tools. When Hadoop comes in, you say, well, do you build a completely different stack on Hadoop or do you try and integrate the traditional BI and you know, traditional data warehousing with Hadoop? And so regardless of where the data comes from, regardless of where you manage it, you should be able to take your existing BI tools, whether it's uh, you know, analysis services or Excel or other things that customers may use, and wor work that on your both traditional data warehouse and Hadoop piece as well. So I think it's good that, that EMC is highlighting the need for BI. And I go back to the problem you're solving for is how do you deliver insights? Uh, regardless and, and of how, And your developers are using what now in the Windows platform, the, the Horton Rose so, platform? So SQL Server has delivered BI in the product since yeah. 1997. So we have an OLAP engine called Analysis Services. We have operational reporting through reporting services. Yeah. And then the last few years, we really innovated on the self-service side through Excel with Power Pivot and Power Review. So mm -hmm. the end goal, the vision is how do you take someone who's familiar with Excel uh, and actually get them to get value from data that might exist in Hadoop without having to understand the details of where the data sits, how it, you know, how yeah, it's yeah. distributed and all those things. So you go to Hortonworks, so you tap those guys to bring their expertise to the table. So talk about what they, brought, what they bring to the table, because I, I think there's a lot of folks out there right now trying to evaluate the horses. And you have the, we know who the horses are, right? You have the proprietary approach, uh, and then you have uh, Cloudera and Hortonworks. So why Hortonworks? Yeah, so I mean, I think for us, the, the high order bit was who's really driving the vision and the, the direction of the Apache Hadoop projects. And it's kind of a pretty straightforward way to look at that, which is who's got the most number of committers and who's actually contributing source code uh, in, an, in a real way into the project. And so when we looked at all the different people out on there. On all the right projects. And which, all, is there any particular projects you guys like to look at right now and saying, hey, this is where the value is? I mean, we, well, I think the biggest thing is the core, right? So we started out with the <laughs> core, and so th th that's got to be the primary focus. Now, it's going to be, uh, you know, a sort of Darwinian evolution of all the other projects that happen over there, and we're not going to try and predict that, but we really well, focus just announced th uh, two, not three, two Apache uh, projects and an initiative. Um, are you guys involved in that with them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so that's an example of uh, while Hortonworks is driving the projects, you know, we look at it and prioritize and say, okay, we're going to put engineers on this, and so we actually have yeah. real, you know, Microsoft employees working on these projects with Hortonworks as these. So you guys well. are jointly coding together. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. John, so what's on the new projects? How does mm -hmm. that relate into the Windows announcement and the SQL Server stuff? Well, it's it's 
part of the broader strategy of innovating across the platform and continuing to drive the platform forward. As, as Harain said, you know, we want to make sure that it meets the broadest set of workloads, and so we're going to do that re regardless of platform. We believe it should be you know, equally available on Windows as it is on Linux, and we want to drive those capabilities so that it sets a, a, meets a broader set of the workloads to, to what Harain said on, in terms of letting users access the data in more interactive way. And that's really where you know, the Tez, Stinger projects are driving the Hadoop platform. Okay, so the final question, obviously, just to kind of wrap up the segment is um, the Hadoop partnership uh, business model. Obviously, there's a lot of people trying to change the game a little bit, but you guys have stayed true to your business model. 100% uh, open source, we just had Sean on. Mm -hmm. Just going forward, obviously, you're dancing with Microsoft. They have their business model. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it's working with you. Mm -hmm. Talk about how you guys are executing out the business model side of it and what, the, what value will come out of that and what you anticipate to be happening in the marketplace over the next 12 months or so. Well, I think it's an exciting time for Hadoop in general right now, obviously with all the new entrants. Um, our business model, we have many customers who are selecting us specifically because they want somebody who is very directly and closely aligned to the core of Apache Hadoop contributing everything back. It's really representative of the relationship we have with Microsoft. That's support though, in particular. Coding so, and support, yeah, right? Yeah, so we, we develop, distribute, and support um, uh, Apache Hadoop distribution. And, but that's true both in the way that we d distribute Hortonworks data platform and in the way that we work with um, Microsoft. So it's a great relationship there and a great, you know, as things evolve as we go forward in the market, you know, we see this sort of explosion. This is the year, and I know Sean talked about this, that Hadoop has crossed the chasm. It's just, it's just going uh, crazy right now. Yeah, and I'll just add from our standpoint, you know, Hadoop on Windows is a good thing. It doesn't matter yeah. which version of it it is. And Hadoop on Azure is a good thing. And so that's where we want this to go. So let's talk about the, the skill gaps real quick. On one last comment, I want to just drill down because obviously the open source business model is uh, tried and true, but you know, it does evolve over the years based on market conditions and evolution, right? Uh, but it's still kind of the same game: training, skill gaps, implementate, and implementation. So training kind of like gets people educated, mm -hmm. um, resource-based uh, advantages like skill, you know, mm -hmm. there's not enough skilled people. I mean, right. you know, we question, asked Intel yesterday, like, okay, you're doing your own distro, but like. I mean, do you actually have the people to actually code? Yeah, you've got some super geeks on the Silicon side, but I mean, <laughs> how are you going to hire? <laughs> is it right. a hiring plan? Who's going to support things? And then obviously implementation. So my, my question to Microsoft is, when you look at implementations right now, you guys need to have that SLA, right? I mean, that's, is, is it the skills gap issues that you need help with? Teamwork, all of the above? What is the core? I mean, I think, I think what you're seeing is a natural sort of maturity curve for Hadoop. When, when technologies first come out in the early days, they're hard to implement and they're complex. And over time, you know, frameworks come and new projects come and part of that's simplifying. And so I think part of actually what we're bringing to the table in the partnership with Hortonworks as well is you know, how do we make things simpler? And in particular on the Windows platform, how do we make things simpler? So we do think that as the, the stack evolves, and matures, you know, things will get simpler. And for example, even configuring and deploying, you know, Hadoop on Windows should just be easier to do than you would do it, you know, in the way you do it today. Obviously, I'm getting always getting the hook, but I was going to ask that one last question on the top of the last question, which is, final comment, John, you guys, real quick. Business value, what's the, what's the bumper sticker for business value right now? That's a conversation that's going on here at Strata. There's a lot of, you know, alpha geek conversations, but at the end of the day, this new, the old way is transitioned to a new way. Mm -hmm. That's very clear, the genie's out of the bottle. What's the bumper sticker for the business value of, of Hadoop partnering? Hadoop partnering? The, in, the, in the business model of partnerships with the big players. Yeah, I mean, I think it's the, the, the same kind of core value proposition of an open source platform is there uh, that's fundamentally changing the way that data is stored and processed at the core for, uh, you know, within the enterprise. So that value proposition of lowering the overall cost as data explodes, right? everybody knows about the big data and how much data companies are gathering, that value proposition continues to stay the same. And it's something, in, in particularly in the way that we partnership with Microsoft and others, that, that we can continue to drive that value and help them bring that same value to market. Real quick. Yeah, so I think for us it's really uh, time to value and, and return on accessible data. And that means how quickly can you build a solution and then really what insight can you get from it that's meaningful to your business. So that's what we focus on. Okay, the business is accelerating, a lot of growth, a lot of opportunities, Hortonworks and Microsoft partnership on Hadoop. Uh, it's working, congratulations. Uh, we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break here at Strata Conference. This is SiliconAngle.com's exclusive coverage of O'Reilly Media Strata Conference in Silicon Valley. the programs out there and identified a gap in tech news coverage. There are plenty of tech shows that provide new gadgets and talk about the latest in gaming, 
but those shows are just the tip of the iceberg and we're here for the deep dive. There's a difference between technology consumers and those who live the business day to day, and our viewers recognize that. The market begged for our program to fill that void. We're not just touting off headlines. Our goal is to provide you with a story, but we also want to analyze the big picture and ask the questions that no one else is asking. Our guests aren't just here to provide commentary. We work with analysts who know the industry from the inside out. The tech business isn't new, but many networks treat it as if it is, and really barely scratch the surface on technology coverage. We follow the expansion of the cloud and the evolution of big data. We're covering new enterprise from startup to IPO and every move in between. So what do you think was the source of this misinformation? And so you mentioned briefly uh, there are several other... If that's the case, then why does the world need another software as a service player? I like to think of us as a companion to the Cube. We're here every morning trying to extract the signal from the noise. Where the Cube excels in event coverage, we're working to bring that experience to you consistently every morning. We use the top stories of the day to provide you with breaking analysis so that you can forecast future trends. Uh, we're here before you even wake up. We're creating a fundamental change in news coverage, laying the foundation and setting the standard. And this is just the beginning.